Good morning, Mr. Chairman. My name is Alicia Soma. Michael Giamalvo and I both have Cooley's anemia, a fatal genetic blood disease for which there is currently no cure. Because my body cannot produce red blood cells like most other people's do, I have to receive a blood transfusion every two weeks. Getting a blood transfusion that frequently is not fun, but I have to do it to stay alive. As a child growing up with this fatal illness, it's difficult not to feel different. Being the only kid in your class making regular week-long trips to the hospital, you can't help but feel alone. Mr. Chairman, I know that you have a lot of people asking you for a lot of things today and that you can't do everything, but I hope that you will help us fight this disease. My name is Gwen and I have thalassemia major. I'm 34 years old. I live. This is a journey of courage and hope for many thalassemia patients like Alicia, Michael, and Gwen. The journey begins with family when they discover that their life as they know it has changed forever. My daughter, when she was three, she had fallen out of um, a walker at the time, so she had to go to the hospital and get an x-ray, and that's when they found out. They did all kinds of blood tests, and I mean, I was devastated. I knew at the time, you know, you, back then, they didn't live past adolescence, 17, 18 years old, maybe. Um... Well, growing up as a kid, like I was always at the doctors and always getting transfused. That like I was out of school a lot. It always hurt, and I didn't like it and cried. <laughs> but I got used to it, and now it just again, it's not even a thought. Like it's just a normal everyday thing.